Hey YouTube, Origami here, and today we're going to be making this Arrowhead Flicker bracelet. And basically, it just it's an arsenal for all your Arrowhead Flickers. If you want to learn how to make Arrowhead Flickers, you can check out my tutorial, the last one that I made, on how to make these awesome little flickers. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. One other thing about the bracelet, it is removable, which I think is awesome, because normally paper bracelets are not removable. So, to make this bracelet, you're just going to need one sheet of paper, and it's actually quite easy. So, fold the paper in half lengthwise. And if it doesn't work out, don't worry, you can just refold it. But, as you can see, with my years of practice, <laughs> this worked out just fine. So now, fold them in like this, and try to make it match in the middle, so that there's no real overhang going on. And if it doesn't, you can just fold the other one more. So don't worry about it too much, but worry about it a little bit. Bingo. Fold it in half, make sure it's all good. Then, take this little edge here and fold it up just a tad. Try to make the entire tab even, if you can as in the same length all the way. Then fold it over again, like the same way that we did the first fold. Or sorry, the second fold. And sometimes during origami, you'll have trouble with the corners folding in on itself like, like this. So what you can do to prevent that is if you see that it's about to do that, then just take a pencil and like pull out the corner a little bit with the tip of the pencil, preferably a lead pencil so that it doesn't make like streaks on your drawing. But now what we need to do is close this up just a little bit more so that we can't see inside of it too much anyways. because we still need room to put our arrowhead flickers. So as you can see, it's already taking its shape for the most part. So you slide it right in there. So now, turn it over to the side without these two flaps. And then fold it up into two separate triangles at the bottom of your page. Then, fold it to this side. It doesn't matter if it stays at the edge of the page. So just fold it to this side. Sorry, whoops. Forgot a step. Fold it up here. So turn it from here, take it to the side with flaps, and fold it up onto that side. And then fold it like this. And it doesn't matter if it stays. You just want to create an X, kind of a crease, on the back of your paper. Once you've done that, take these little flaps and pull them out. And it should just straighten out like that. This little piece here is going to be this piece. So, now that you've done that, size it up to your wrist. That being, put it like this. Fold this piece over, over everything. And also keep in mind, you're going to need to fold it backwards too. So what I'm thinking I'll do for my little wrists is cut off up to here to leave a bit to fold. Just take some scissors, just slice it off. Boom. So now fold it down in as much as you want it to enter your little um, lock part. At this point, it doesn't really matter if this like folds in on it itself. So then take it like this, unfold this part, and slap that in. 
pull it this way. Take these little triangle flaps and push it under your wristband like that. And then repeat the same steps to the other side. And there you go. Your bracelet arsenal is complete. And you can just put all of your arrowhead flickers in there like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned how to make an arrowhead flicker bracelet arsenal. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And have a great day.